In this video, I'll teach you how you can effectively use the zoom in and zoom out feature in Filmora 10. Keep watching this video till the end. Welcome to Filmora MVP channel, where we teach you the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Let's start our video with a basic question. Why do you need to create zoom in and zoom out? The answer is quite simple. You can zoom into a video to pay attention to specific details of an object or a person or to spotlight something from your video. Suppose your video contains a lot of persons standing and you want to focus on a single person. Here, you can use the zoom in effect to bring attention of your audience to that specific person. Zoom in is often used to give your viewers a close-up view of something in your video where every minor detail needs to be observed. It looks really cool and appealing, and you can easily add this effect to your videos using Filmora 10. Now you might be thinking how you can create this effect yourself for your videos. If that's the case, then I'm going to show you how exactly you can do this using Filmora 10. In this video, I will share two different methods with you, which you can easily zoom in and zoom out to make your videos much more appealing. Are you ready? Let's get started then. The first method is to use the pan and zoom option in Filmora 10. Before we move forward, make sure that Filmora 10 video editing software is installed in your computer. You can download it from the link given in the description. Now first, you need to import the video files to Filmora 10. Click Import in the Media Library. Select the video files you want to work on and add them to the program. You can drag and drop files as well. Almost all video formats are supported in Filmora 10, so you don't need to worry much about compatibility issues. Next, drag your video clips to the timeline on which you want to apply the zoom in and zoom out effect. Now, right-click on the video clip from the timeline and select the crop and zoom option from the menu. A new window will appear from where you need to select the pan and zoom tab. Now click on the middle and make the square as small as you can. In the next step, move the square to any part where you want to zoom in and click OK. Now, if I play the video, you can see that the zoom in effect has been applied to the video. You can easily make adjustments to the video and zoom into a video at any desired part. The second method that you can use to zoom in and zoom out effects is by using the keyframing option in Filmora 10. First of all, import the desired video to Filmora and add it to your timeline. Now you need to determine a starting and ending point for keyframing. Click on the video file and click on keyframing button to determine the starting point. Now move the cursor to the point where you want to end the keyframe and click on the keyframing button again. Now click on the video section from Filmora 10 and adjust the size of the video to zoom in to a specific point. That's all. Play the video and you will see that the clip will zoom in gradually from the starting point to the ending point. If you want to add zoom in effect to multiple parts of your video clip, then this method works the best because you can easily determine the starting and ending point. Now that you know how to zoom into a video, try it for yourself and let me know in the comments about the outcomes. I love hearing about all the cool edits you make to your videos. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. Keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!